dear love. Hi, Scorpio. How are you all today? I hope you guys are doing well because I have some important information here for you today. I am G1 Writer with G1 Insights and this is your love focus for the month of May 2018. Scorpio, we have a new moon, May 15th, in your opposite sign, Taurus, okay? And the reason why that week is going to be so important is because we also have your ruling planet Mars going into tough, stubborn Aquarius, okay? And when you have two stubborn signs clashing at each other, this is going to be one of those weeks where you want to kind of break free, <laughs> you want to break free. You want to get away. You want to do something. You just want to, you don't know what it is. You just know you want to just get out and do something, right? And so for a lot of you, <laughs> this is going to be affecting your home. This is going to be dealing with some type of minor issues, dealing with your friends or your family. Maybe, um, maybe you do want to get out and have a bit more freedom and go out a bit more. And I feel like you kind of been aggressive about that lately you know instead of just passionately discussing these things you have been kind of abrasive you know very a bit cocky and some of you a bit arrogant even right but this is the season for you to do that it's okay to want to break free and have a good time however because you guys do deserve it i mean you've been working hard and so you like look i don't care about this i just want to do me i just want to have a good time and it's not that you don't love your spouse or it's not that you don't want love you just want to break free from all these daily routines right and there's nothing wrong with that dear love but this season the universe is asking that you Focus on compassion when it comes to your love life, okay? Focus on compassion. You want to make the effort, okay? Because I do see things happening in the home. However, this is all about because you want freedom. Now, the thing about having soulmates and so on is that a lot of times when things like that come about is that... It's kind of like we are reflecting the same energy. So if you find that you're frustrated, you may feel like, well, I want to do this. I'm, I need some freedom. I need to get out. You might want to have a bit of compassion because I've got a good feeling that that may be exactly the same way that your spouse may be feeling. So instead of you guys arguing or disagreeing, you know, you want to agree to disagree, okay? It's okay not to always be right. You both can learn to compromise because I also see retreat, okay? Which is a card that shows a married couple, okay? Or it just shows a couple getting away. So you may both be feeling that need to want to break free and get out. But how would you know if you have such a mentality of me, 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 me. So this is to say, have some compassion, you know, you know, passionately discuss with your spouse what is really on your heart and what is really troubling you. This is not the season to hide your feelings. This is not the time to run under the rug and not speak your mind. In fact, you want to use this energy to say exactly what is on your mind and mean what you say, say what you mean. Be very direct, Scorpio, okay? But also be very passionate with the things that you say. Make sure that you don't say anything you end up regretting okay you want to be very forthcoming you want to be very honest but you want to say it with love okay listen i've been stressed out i really need a break who knows your spouse may want to go on that trip with you your spouse may want to go somewhere as well who knows you both can just end up going somewhere and being happy so you know this is really about give and take and having balance and the good thing is, I do see you guys making some effort. So for a lot of you, you may say, you know what? I'm not doing this. I'm out of here. You know, and that doesn't mean that you're going to just leave like the next day. Okay. But this is saying that it's just going to kind of, for a lot of you, this is spiritual. So a lot of you, this is going to cause you to just kind of reanalyze your decisions, to reevaluate the situation to maybe, okay, maybe if I take care of my home first, maybe I can then do what I need to do. Um, for some of you, this is 
you know, no, I'm not. I'm just going to be dedicated to my family. I'm going to make that, make things work. So for a lot of you, you are making that effort. So good for you. A lot of you are making that effort. A lot of you are saying, you know what? No, I really want this to work. I'm going to do what's right. I'm going to focus on family first. I'm going to focus on my home first. And then I can do what I need to do. Because even though, even with you feeling like you've been over the top, you know, the universe is saying, listen, you are being blessed with all this tremendous energy, right? And we don't want you to fight with the one you love. We want you to share this love. We want you to share your abundance. We want you to share your prosperity. You know, embrace the one that loves you, okay? So don't shy away. Don't run away. Don't give up so easily. Because I'm telling you, this week, during that full moon, like I said, your ruling planet will be going into Aquarius, and let me tell you, your ruling planet is also in Capricorn. Both of your ruling planets are in Capricorn right now. So, you know, you would, I'm telling you, this is some really serious, hardworking energy that you guys have been facing, you know. But I feel like this week, though, in particular, is going to be that week because we're dealing with Uranus energy as well, which is non-rebellion, wanting to go, you know, not being restricted. I don't care. I want to do me. I want to have freedom. I want to go. I want you to let me go. Right? And you are, you know, you like to fly. You like to soar. And when you feel like you are being restricted and when you can't have your freedom, it bothers you. And instead of being upset or abrasive about it, the universe is asking that you just simply talk about it. Okay? Don't hold it in. Don't wait until the last minute and then lash out like a wolf, okay? Bring all these things to the forefront so that way your spouse know exactly what they are dealing with. So that way it's, there are no surprises. That way you guys won't be frustrated, okay? But I do believe that great love is here for you if you work hard for it because I do see make the effort. So if you want a peaceful vacation, if you're trying to go out with the guys or go out with the girls and you don't want to hear all the nonsense, I really recommend that you you break it to your spouse in a very good way, okay? You know, bring roses. I don't know. Bring roses. You know, do something nice. Do something nice at the home because, like I said, I do see home being at the forefront, okay? So, yeah, you want to take care of your foundation, dear love. This is in your seventh house, and so you want to take care of your foundation. You want to make sure that your home is taken care of, that your bills are paid, that you paid any debts off, you know, and ironically, this is not a career and life focus. But I feel like all of those things are going to be affecting your love life, okay? If that makes any sense to you all, okay? Now, I do, like I said, I do see that you and your spouse will be deciding to take a trip or people will be coming to visit you. But either way, I do see some type of retreat happening for the month of May, okay? You guys just need time to just get away and go out and run away from the rest of the world and all of its drama, okay? Now, it is safe for you to love, Scorpio. So for a lot of you that are single, you know, you've been having this wall up for the longest. And the universe is saying, look, it's time to break free. It's time to have fun again. Go out there, meet someone new, have a good time. You know, and we are all, I think we are all being blessed in that way where the universe is giving that, giving us that extra push, you know, to not give up, to keep going, to be satisfied, to focus on self-fulfillment. But I also see true love here, dear love. So the romantic spirits in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. So you may be feeling like, you know what, let me meditate about this. Let me pray about this because I don't know what I want to do, but this person is stressing me out. I'm not sure if I want to stay, if I want to leave. I'm not sure if I should, you know, make get married to this person. I'm not sure if I even want to move in with this person. There's going to be a lot of different questions and concerns, but the matter of the fact is it takes two, you know, and I've been telling a lot of you guys this, like it really does. It takes two to make it work. So don't let that one week of annoyance determine the rest of your life. Is what I'm trying to say, okay? Now, Scorpio, because you are being blessed with all this powerful energy this month, like I said, your opposite sign is being blessed as well, Taurus. So we got that new moon coming in. And then at the end of the month, we have a full moon in Sagittarius. 
So when I say you really are going to be feeling really in charge, ready to go, expect a lot of fiery energy. Expect to be on top of your game. Expect it, dear love. But expect your partner to be like, hello, what about me? <laughs> you know, expect your spouse to be feeling some kind of way because they're going to want to tag along too. And you're going to have to find a way to make them just as comfortable as you're trying to be. Because I believe that they are also going to be feeling that same way. But you will not know if you don't open up and if you don't talk to them. Okay, Scorpio, it's okay to have your little secrets and whatnot. We all know you kind of secretive and even manipulative at times. But for a lot of you, for a lot of you, it really does not pay to be secretive this season. You want to be as open as possible. You want to say, listen, man, it's a party going down with the guys. I really want to go, you know. It's, it's not that you got to ask for permission. It's just courtesy. It's just common, simple courtesy. It's just saying, listen, I love you and I love being with you. I want to be with my guys. I want to hang out, you know, or I love you, honey, but I haven't seen my girls in like over six months, you know, just try to talk to them in a nice way. Don't be so aggressive and ready to tear them apart. Okay. And don't get mad because if you don't talk to them, then they might be just as vindictive as you. It might try to get back at you. And I don't think you're going to like that Scorpio. So I think that you need to just relax, relax your little thoughts because your mind go racing. And once it goes racing, there's no bringing you back. <laughs> so create an altar to visit a power place to connect with the divine okay you want to i believe like i said i believe that this is also a very spiritual time for you so this whole month of may is really about you know getting in touch with your inner side your inner youth you know having more fun wanting to be free wanting to be you may feel a bit extra creative this month extra inspired okay and i do believe that you will because i did see a lot of money coming to you in the month of may right however and that was in your career life focus but when it comes to love you don't want to forget the ones that was there okay you don't want to forget the ones that held you down you don't want to forget the ones that loved you and put up with your crap for the last several months or years you don't want to you know you don't want to leave them just hanging on the sideline you want to make them feel just as happy and comfortable okay now I do see that there's also no need to worry or try to force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. So even if you are single and you feel like, well, nothing is really working out for me. I'm stressed out. I'm tired of being alone. Or, you know, I just want to move forward. I do see great love coming to you guys. And I do see a potential new lover here. But it's not going to happen as long as you sit around and complain about it. You got to be more open to love, okay? Don't be so, like I said, this is not the season to shy away. This is a season to break free and to be happy and to live your life. However, you don't want to forget about your self-love. And you don't want to forget about the ones that love you, okay? So again, for you, dear love, this is really all about making that effort, honey. I'm serious. This is really... And for those of you that are coupled up or engaged or married, this is a really big deal, okay? Because you, for a lot of you, even if... You may say, hey, I'm in a happy relationship. Me and my partner are not going through anything, you know? But maybe that's just what you're thinking, right? You may think your spouse is walking around happy, maybe because they haven't really been complaining. They just, okay, chippity, oh, nothing bothers me. But I really suggest then recommend that you don't assume that everything is okay, that you talk to them. Because I believe that you are not the only one that wants freedom. And you are not the only one that want to just break out from a daily routine, Scorpio. So you need to, and I do understand that you do get bored after a while, but you still have to communicate your feelings. Okay? Easy does it, dear love. There's no need to rush everything. You don't have to feel like, oh my God, if I don't get out and start that project now, it's not going to happen. If I don't do my music now, it's not going to work. Or if I don't meet up with my friends, I'm not going to ever see them again. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> not yet anyway, by the grace of, you know, God and the universe and as a whole, you know. So just relax, Scorpio. It's all good. It's all good. Love is here for you, dear love. But you got to make that effort. That is my overall advice for you. Make that effort. Do not... You know, be so selfish and so stuck up and arrogant that you leave the one you love behind. Because when you come back from your high, okay, because I feel like you guys are going to be really feeling yourself. When you come back from your high, you might not have that person there. Okay, so you want to really pay attention to the way that you're talking to people and the way that you're treating people that you love, okay? 
So Scorpio, that was your love focus. It was really straight to the point. If you were like a personal reading just for you, maybe there was something I didn't really talk about because this is a general focus. So if you would like a focus just for you, check out my website, www.g1insights.org. Please like, share, and subscribe. My website link should be somewhere in the video. I don't know if it's down here or up top, but you guys will figure it out. If not, just email me. I'll make sure I put the email at the bottom of every video. So if you can't find it in here, then... Click on another one. You should see it, okay? I love you so much. Bye, Scorpio. Until next time. <laughs>